My name is Michael Charles Baylog. I was a lieutenant in the United States Naval Reserve. There was an exchange program, if you will, with one of the units ashore, and they sent they sent six guys out to spend the night on the ship, and we sent six guys in to spend the night ashore. So there were six of us that, that uh, had boots on ground in Vietnam. That's all. We also had had the opportunity late in our late in our Vietnam cruise. We worked with the Australians to put ashore uh, a recon team. Australian Special Air Service they were. I mean these these were heavy duty heavy duty warriors. They were going to do a recon mission because there was supposedly a Vietnamese general who was coming down into this area and they were going to try and get him. Uh, so we put them ashore one morning and never saw them again. Um, met some of them later. One of them came to our reunion. We saw their after action report. They never found the general, but they spent three days looking for him. So weather off the coast of Vietnam was generally excellent. We would, we of course had trained to do gunfire support from the moving ship. When we got there, we were a little surprised to know that the ship that we were leave, they said, "Oh yeah, we anchor. It's not a problem. There's nobody here that there's nobody here that can that can challenge you." One thing I didn't realize that I now do understand from having read a certain amount about the war, there were, if you will, established gunfire stations along the coast of Vietnam where they stationed uh, destroyers primarily with the five-inch guns um, to to shoot. And I would say that in those stations, the weather was probably pretty good. We did have the opportunity, the opportunity, the challenge. There was a typhoon that, that uh, blew, through the, blew through the area when we were there, and we had to sortie from Subic Bay. We ran almost down to Singapore, getting out of the way of that typhoon. Uh, that was, hands down, the worst weather I saw. I had had a problem with seasickness when I joined the ship. But I was over it by then, and in, the, in, in steaming back to Subic Bay after the typhoon, uh, the, the seas were really rough. But by that time, I was a, a you know one of the one of the more senior junior officers on board, and had reached a point where oh, I loved it, loved it. It was a lot of fun. Even one day, the ship rolled 52 degrees. Um, that was fun until you started thinking about, well, what if she goes over? It's going to be no fun at all. But fortunately, she righted herself. We had had, and as part of one of the conversions, they had removed Mount 52 to put in that hedgehog weapon that I talked about. Well, the gun mount is, uh, you know, a huge weight, and Mount 52 up on the 01 level was relatively high above the waterline. If we'd had Mount 52 on board, I don't know that we would have survived that roll. But that we did. Life was good.